What I'm about to tell you in this video is going to completely change your life. If you actually watch to the end, you would generally not be the same person you were when you first started watching this video. What I'm about to break down to you is seven stoic quotes or rules that I stand by and have stood by that have completely changed my life, how I think, how I move, how I act, and how I have things that have in my life. To be honest, I've always kind of moved in the direction of stoicism, like the way that I did. Some of it was unconscious, just based off the nature of who I am. But actually, after like reading up on these and like figuring out this is what I did and this is what I don't do, it changed forever. Number one is just focus on what you can control. I feel like that was extremely important, especially for like men. We overthink, we want to take control, we want to be assertive, and it's very easy to get caught in that loop. But there's a stoic quote on control. It goes something like, the key is to not control external events, but control your internal. Basically, nothing outside of you, you can control, but you can control your emotions. You control how you react to a situation. Because that's all that really matters is how you react. Because how you react plays a huge part in how an event plays out. Because you are what holds the weight of the perception of anything. You have control of your thoughts and actions. The more you take control of that, the more your reality will change because realistically, your outer reality is just a simple reflection of your inner reality. The next one I'll say is you need to embrace discomfort as growth. A lot of you, or what I used to do is I used to look at anything that was discomfort and my subconscious mind automatically look at it as a challenge. This is saying I like to live by really being buried or planted. And usually it feels like you're being buried, but really you're being planted because they feel the same. Embrace discomfort because discomfort is what makes you who you are. Think about all the time in your life when you actually made growth, when you actually made change, you actually made some transformation. It was from some hardship. One passed away, you went through a breakup, you're, you lost your money, you went bankrupt, you got fired from your job, your car broke down. They all had something that came out of that that made you better or made you go harder in the pain. No pressure, no diamonds. And number three is practice daily self-discipline. A lot of people get this miscrew because they think they have to be doing hard, hard, vigorous work 24-7. Really, I am against the work hard hustle culture. Because how the law of attraction works, when you try to work harder to get something, it just runs further away from you. Telling yourself subconsciously that you don't have that thing. Me, I'm big on doing daily disciplines that keep me on my shit. Let's say you're watching a video like this and you want to just click off right now or you want to go do something while you're watching this video. Instead of clicking off or moving, just sit here and have your undivided attention on what I'm saying and do not do anything. Don't go click on your phone. Don't go text while you listen to me. Just try to extend that time. Not only is that increasing your self-discipline, but that is a, it's strengthening your attention span. The people with the longest attention spans actually become the smartest because we live in an information era where everything's at our fingertips. That's making people's attention spans lower. You can implement that discipline. That's gonna just make you 10 times more effective. Some other disciplines I'll do is like, man, cold showers, or I'll take a warm shower, then turn the water to cold right after, simply because I, I'm doing something I don't wanna do. Or I don't want to make a video. I don't want to edit a video. And I'm going to do it anyway because I know I'm going to want to do it. I remember the other day I was just thinking about this. I'm like, bro, like I woke up this morning. I just genuinely didn't feel like waking up. I wanted to scroll on my phone. I didn't feel like going doing what, what the hell my task list said. And I just thought about the future. How would Kale feel if he just did this shit? And I'm thinking like, man, I would feel pretty good. So I did it. And then you feel good after doing something that you didn't want to do. Because like, just do it and get it out the way. I never matter, bro. It's daily, daily disciplines is what really changed my life. Stoic quote. Number four is detach from external validation. This one is huge for me, bro. I grew up looking for external validation. My validation came from how people perceived me, how I was looked at, how many women I attracted, how my outfit looked. It takes a lot of inner work to actually have that inner confidence and not really depend on external validation. Because when you depend on external validation, all that does is give your power to others. So that means whenever the insignificant action of someone else is not is being insignificant, then your emotions are fucked. You're not happy anymore saying when you change the way you look at things the things you look at change focus on how you feel internally you happy you do inner work which is like man meditating like speaking well to yourself tell your bro it's something as small as doing something you said you was going to do and then doing it like i stand on that bro and a lot of men be like bro i don't know why i feel this way it's just like you know bro because you tell yourself you're gonna do something you don't do it so you don't even trust yourself so what the hell makes you think other people are gonna trust you it's a confidence thing if you go to the gym with somebody and you tell them hey let's go to the gym every day this week right or let's go to the gym this week and every day they flake they flake like four out of the out of the five days you guys go or you go 
And on that fifth day, they're like, okay, I'm gonna go this time. Do you think they're gonna go? They're, like, they're probably gonna flake again. You don't trust them. And that's just how it goes with yourself. The same thing with yourself. The relationship don't change. You have to detach from external validation to really get that growth that you want. Number five is every man has two lives and the second one begins and you realize he only has one. Now, this quote, man, it changed my life to start taking more action to be more risk oriented, to stop overthinking. Like Everyone has this perception on life, what they think life is. And until they have like a near death experience or they lose someone in their life or they have this crazy traumatic life experience that they realize you only live this human experience once. So there's no reason for you to take it for granted. Play life safe, be scared to make, mistakes like bro go ask that woman out go take risk on that business give that person a call take that chance take that leap travel to that place because that one decision can be the one thing that's holding you back from literally being great and doing what god has put you on this earth to do six is we often suffer more in imagination than we do in reality we suffer more in our head than we do in real life like you ever like like before you did a situation before you like went to that job interview before you started that first business before you if you play sports you know your, your first game or your first fight if you're in fighting and you have this like imagination that's driving you crazy and when you get in that event it's not as as crazy as it was in your head saying false evidence appearing real like if you break down the word fear it's false evidence appearing real fear is not real we kind of just put this anxiety in our head we literally overthink to the point where we paralyze ourselves bro you are literally suffering more in your mind than it is in reality. Like you think it's a big ass deal to walk up to that girl and ask for a number of lists because she wants you to. There was one time where I seen this girl, I made eye contact with her and I literally just walked up to her. And then I, I was a little nervous, but I was like, fuck it, why not? Like, let's see if she's, the mindset you gotta have you walk up to women is like, don't see if, don't walk up to them hoping they like you. you someone's calling me. You need to walk up to them and like, see if like, there's someone that can be on your level. You know what I'm saying? Like change the dynamic a little bit, but what I'm saying is bro, you, literally will overthink yourself to death do not let your mind kill you number seven is is not the man who has too little it's the man who craves more that is actually poor the man that has nothing right but the man that craves more is actually poorer than the guy that doesn't have shit at all because you ever think like homeless people could be so content homeless people be they're content with staying in their homes or living on the street not really having to worry about paying bills they're content and grateful than the person that's rich want more they want more money more status and they're not truly grateful people that are rich in spirit because rich is not just physical rich and being abundant is in the soul and the spirit how do you feel within here if you feel content and grateful for just waking up for just breathing just for having limbs just for being able to see that's when things are attracted towards you because gratitude is a certain vibrational frequency that that's of high and when you're in a high vibrational frequency like joy love peace you now should just attract things that you want to your life even the people that are rich that do have some gratitude but just want to crave more they're actually poor because they're suffering people that crave more usually suffer because they never are content you never be content when you want more when you're grateful obviously you will be content Long story short, man, these seven quotes is what changed my life. That's just seven out of many. Stoicism is very, very great, especially if you're a man that's trying to get on his purpose. He's trying to lock in. He's trying to get his shit together. Stoic, I would look, I would actually have a book. It's called The Daily Stoic. This book right here has 366 meditations on spiritual wisdom, meditations, mindset, and it's amazing, bro. I wouldn't be who I am without it. And to be honest, if you're somebody who likes my channel, you like my video, and you feel like this resonates with you, comment down below i'm a chosen one or just dm me on instagram and bro i'm gonna work with you i'm gonna see if i can because i'm working one-on-one -on -one with people but not any just anybody bro if you're serious about growth if you're serious about changing your life i'm gonna help you get to a version of yourself because i used to be somebody who was unconfident i dealt with anxiety depression overthinking external validation running off of, you know i i just i I'm, i just couldn't find myself right and i'm still growing but i'm a lot better and further than i was so if this is something that interests you, man, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, I'm chosen, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.